Hello, welcome to Geojit Spotlight. A significant feature of a bull market is its ability to set new record highs continuously. This year, in 2024, Nifty has set seven new record highs. I am talking of intraday highs, not closing highs. This strength exhibited by this bull run, despite high valuations, is remarkable. There will certainly be corrections in the market. There can be sharp corrections, but a crash, a market crash of ten percentage or more, appears unlikely in the present context. A bull market needs fundamental support. Impressive GDP growth and a decent corporate earnings provide this fundamental support. There are some very good cues from the Q3 results. Corporate revenue growth year on year is seven percentage. EBITDA earnings before interest, tax, depreciation, amortization. EBITDA is very important. EBITDA growth is twenty six percentage, and profit after tax growth is twenty four percentage. This is. Very good, and can uh, support high valuations of large caps. There are some other important indications from Q3 results. Automobiles are doing exceedingly well. Financials have reported good earnings growth. Capital goods and pharma also are doing very well. FMCG and IT. Continue to struggle. India's valuations are very high, higher than historical average. Uh, in fact, India is the most expensive market in the world. This is a concern, but high valuations are likely to sustain. The main reason for this high valuation is that the uh, inflows into the market is very high and is sustaining. SIP inflows into mutual funds last month was rupees eighteen thousand eight hundred and thirty-eight crores. Sustained buying by DIIs and HNI and retail are consistently neutralizing FII selling in the market. Therefore, even FII's are now a bit reluctant to sell. Sell big, that is, despite high valuations in India and um, attractive bond yields in the U.S. Valuations in the mid and small cap segments are excessive and uh, difficult to justify. This is mainly due to the recency bias, that is, the influence of recent events on investor behavior. For example, last year small cap index gave fifty five percentage return. So the expectation now is that this will continue. So more money is flowing into mid and small caps, despite uh, uh, relatively attractive valuations of large caps. Now this uh, lofty expectations in the mid and small caps are unlikely to be realized. History teaches us that excessive valuations will not sustain. Therefore, investors chasing mid and small caps have to be very cautious and vigilant.